What's up guys, so today we're going to talk about using potassium permanganate as a disinfectant for external parasites and as a water clarifier. So let's get started. Okay, so down here in this rack I have a couple of 40 gallons and a few 20 gallons that I'm going to be using potassium permanganate, and potassium permanganate to treat. Now these tanks haven't had water changes in about a month and they are quite overstocked like a lot of my tanks. So they're gonna have a lot of organic buildup and possibly some parasites floating among the water. So these tanks are actually perfect candidates for me to show how to use this product properly. All right, so what is potassium permanganate and how does it really work? Well, potassium permanganate is a strong oxidizer, very similar to hydrogen peroxide. It is excellent at killing pathogens, especially external parasites. Along with its disinfectant properties, it is also a good water clarifier. One of the ways that I take advantage of the properties of potassium permanganate is to use it before a big water change. That way I can really kill off any possible parasites and further reduce the organic buildup that's inside these tanks. The way that potassium permanganate works is actually pretty cool. When the oxidizing properties of the chemicals are active, the treated water will stay a bright pink or purple color. And as potassium permanganate reacts with the organics in the water, it slowly turns into a brown color. Once it's brown, you know that potassium permanganate is no longer active in your water. This is actually quite useful because if you know that your water turns brown really quick when using potassium permanganate, it means that your water has high level of organics, which inevitably means that it's probably time for a water change. All right, so what I'm gonna do for these tanks here is pre-mix the potassium permanganate in a separate container and then go ahead and pour it into the tank. So I have already pre-mixed. There it is. When it goes in the water, it looks super duper purple. I'll show you a video of that as I pre-mix it and mix it in this container. Then what I'm gonna use is uh, pour this potassium permanganate into this 40 gallon tank. This 40 gallon tank is filled up halfway, so it's about 25 gallons of water. Um, the dosing for potassium permanganate for this kind of treatment for me is roughly about 2 milligrams per liter. The strength of the potassium permanganate really depends on the amount of organic that's in the water. So if there's very low level of organics in the water, like if you just like fresh, clean, oral water you use for your fish, the potassium permanganate might actually harm your fish because it's too strong. There's nothing for it to bind to and it can only bind and oxidize literally your fish. So, but in this case, I don't have to worry about that because I know these, this tank um, has been here for a while and no water change, probably tons of organic. Gonna reduce that with the potassium permanganate. Now let's say you messed up and your fish are now dying. Either because you accidentally overdosed the potassium permanganate or the effect is just lasting too long. Don't freak out because you can effectively almost instantly neutralize the potassium permanganate with the addition of a water conditioner that removes chlorine or using hydrogen peroxide. For water conditioner, you want to double dose and for hydrogen peroxide, you use about 50 milliliters per 20 gallon. Make sure to remove your plants after a few minutes in potassium permanganate because potassium permanganate can kill your plants. I do like to leave the plants in with the potassium permanganate for a few minutes so that it can disinfect any pathogens that are on the plants itself. Okay, so I went ahead and started dosing these tanks. You can see that this tank, I actually redosed this tank uh, because there was so much organic and the potassium permanganate just wore out really quickly. So I redosed this tank again, so it was double strength. This tank was just single strength, and you can see it's still quite pink. And same thing with that tank. So these tanks, uh, the potassium magnet is still active. I'm gonna let it run. This tank is pretty much running out. It's already brown. You can see how when it's brown like this, it means that um, the uh, oxidizing effect is being used up. 
Okay, so here I'll be using ammonia lock. It doesn't have to be ammonia lock. You can use hydrogen peroxide like this. Like that. I'm, I ran out, that's so why I'm using this. But if you have like something like Secam Prime or any kind of dechlorinator, those things will also work well too. So, but this is what I have in hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. All right, so when you're using a water conditioner to remove the potassium permanganate, you actually wanna do double the amount that you would normally do if you're gonna dechlorinate. So in this case, this is a 20, 25 gallon of water and I'm gonna be using, so there's five milliliters per 10 US gallons. So about maybe uh, 20 milliliters. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do two cap full, cap, cap full, because that's gonna to equate to about 20 milliliters of the water conditioner. And that should be enough to clear out the potassium permanganate. All right guys, so I decided to wait till the following day because I ran out of dechlorinator. And so what I did instead was went to the store and bought some hydrogen peroxide to pretty much neutralize the rest of the potassium permanganate. And I wanna show you what it looks like now after the uh, um, treatment of hydrogen peroxide and you know, obviously the dechlorinator. So you can kind of see the tank is looking quite clear. Um, any kind of uh, particles that the potassium permanganate has kind of accumulated or flocculate together has probably been absorbed by the big old sponge filter I have in the back. But I do still see particles floating around. Now that isn't that big of a deal because obviously we're going to do some water change in this. I want to do about 50% water change and then fill the rest of it up with new water. This tank still quite green. It probably needs to go through a couple of treatments, but I already dosed enough potassium permanganate in here. I don't, really don't want to dose anymore. I just kind of, I'm just gonna, you know, do a, a hefty water change in this tank. And this tank, you can kind of see at the bottom, all the dust particles that's kind of accumulated from the uh, potassium permanganate. This is, this tank is actually a better example. Um, the only problem with this tank is that it's also treated with uh, acuprovene, so it's really hard to see like the potassium permanganate particles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna suck up some of that dirt particle in the bottom and kind of show you what the potassium permanganate does. Okay, so I'm gonna take a syringe and kind of suck up the muck that's in the bottom. Obviously, this tank's gonna do a water change too, but suck up the muck in the bottom. I want to show you guys um, the uh, organics that the potassium permanganate has uh, flocculated together. So you take a look. Okay, you kind of you look really closely. You can kind of see the particles that's in the syringe, and that's really all the accumulation, all the accumulation that happens at the bottom of the tank as the potassium permanganate does its job. So uh, yeah, ready for ready for water change, and we'll see what it looks like afterward. After a few hours, I let the particles settle down and pretty much just began vacuuming. And this is what the tanks look like now after a complete water change. Fish are a little stressed out, but no worries, I am feeding them black worms to make them feel a little better. I did the same thing for these smaller 10 gallon tanks. Here it is when potassium permanganate is active. And here is the tank when it's no longer active, but I'm still neutralizing the potassium permanganate with hydrogen peroxide. And this is what the tanks look like after hydrogen peroxide neutralization and just before they are going to get their water changes.
All right, guys, so that's it on potassium permanganate. This is pretty much how I use potassium permanganate in my aquariums. If you guys have any questions or concern about potassium permanganate, please leave it down in the comment below, and I'll try my best to answer your questions. Thanks for watching.